boy, stop that. Eat your breakfast. You're going to be late for school. Good morning, and do what your mother tells you, children. Good morning. You dear. just walked in here. Why do you sign up with her? Because I've known her longer than you have. That's why now eat. Hey, he got more banana than I got. Because I'm older than you are. So tomorrow he'll be older than you. Mom, can we have oatmeal tomorrow for breakfast? We'll see. Daddy, be careful. That's a human person. What are you talking about? I can do this with one hand tied behind my back. I'm not going to eat that now. Old habits die hard. People smoke when they're happy, and people smoke when they're sad. <laughs> I think this is it, Mr. Harvey, unless there's anything else you'd like. Yes. Could you get me into intensive care? <laughs> people smoke to reduce tension, and people smoke to relieve frustration. You want some more coffee? Mm, thanks. I still think you could have beat me that last set if you had any wind left. Oh, speaking of wind, George says he's going to be home early tonight, so any time you and Bill get here, that's just fine. Good. Oh, honey. Don't play with those. They're not good for you. Oh, your serve was good today. Hmm. I think I'm putting more slice on the ball. People smoke when they work, and people smoke when they play. Oh, that's bad. People smoke because it's a habit, and unless they fight it, the habit dies only with the smoker. <laughs> My kid just decided what he wants to be when he grows up. A lawyer, like us. Are you gonna let him? Oh, I have to, I guess. <laughs> Insanity runs in the family. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that cough reminds me. I gotta get the muffler on my car fixed. <laughs> <laughs> Look who's talking. I just got a frog in my throat. Yeah. Sure, oh, sure. I know. I mean, the frog gets cancer, you're gonna throw him away and get a new one, huh? Oh. <laughs> new burn, Maggie? Oh, where? Oh, no. Oh, George, not again. What are you always blaming me for? If I've told the kids once, I've told them a thousand times, don't burn holes in the furniture. Oh, we still love it. Yeah. We pay $500 a year for the privilege of burning holes in our furniture. Hacking coughs, Godzilla breath, don't touch me hands. Could be a lot worse. I could be a drinker. Uh, tell her about how my secretary down at the office is always after me, huh? One thing you don't get from your secretary is cancer. Well. <laughs> Listen, I've been telling George he's smoking too much. And while we're at it, you too, Bill. Uh, me too. And so do you all. I'm too busy at the office to quit now. But when I go on vacation, then I'll stop. Where have I heard that before? I'm going on vacation next week. But I can't go through the torture of quitting. Why, it would blow the whole trip. I'm on a diet now, and smoking's the only pleasure I've got left. Oh, you know what I mean. But I'm going to quit the moment I get back to my regular goodies. Sally, honey, which is more important, your figure or your health? Well, what do you think, big boy? <laughs> no, personally, I have to be completely alone before I can quit. Just one other smoker and forget it. I tried the lonely bit once, when Janet was in the hospital having Bobby. But with no one at home to watch me, I went up to three packs a day. By the time I got home, he was eating tobacco with milk and bananas for breakfast. <laughs> excuses, excuses. I've never heard so many alibis since the last time I looked at Maggie's checkbook. Look, you either make up your mind to quit and you quit. That's all there is to it. I've done it a hundred times. George, I think it's safe to say that if you can quit, we all can. Well, what do you say, everyone? Should we give it a try? Come on, Come let's on. kick it. All right. All of us. <clears throat> Now, what do you say we just have one last one to seal the bar? <laughs> like George and Maggie, many people really want to quit. But during the quitting process, some experience a great deal of discomfort. 
while others do it with relative ease. And some still need that extra shove to put them over the top. Bye, Mom. Bye, Bye dear. Mom. Bye, Mom. Now, See don't later. forget your lunch. Bye-bye, uh, sweetheart. See you later. Are you really going to quit, Mommy? I'm going to try. Smokey, too? That's what he says. Then how about starting now, okay? It isn't easy for Maggie to quit cold turkey. She might even gain a little weight not smoking. <laughs> but everything will taste better. And everything will smell more beautiful. And with a little dieting and exercise, Maggie's weight will return to normal. Hi, hon. Hey. How'd it go today? Oh, nothing special. Decision came down in the Harper case, which we won, and there's going to be an appeal. I mean, how'd it go without smoking? Oh, that. <laughs> it was a cinch. I mean, I told you there wouldn't be a problem. Boy, it wasn't easy for me. But then it helped thinking I was doing it for the kids. Oh, using them as a crutch, huh? Well, listen, you're a woman. If you need help, you should have it. Well, what do you got here? Oh, that's the new exhaust fan we've been meaning to get for ages. We have? Mm-hmm. One thing is for sure. We're going to get the nicotine smells out of this house once and for all. This is really living. <laughs> now and not a single cigarette. How's that for cold turkey? Yeah, well, I had to quit six times before it finally took. I'd get sick now if I had to smoke, though. Thanks, Meg. You were afraid of gaining weight, Sally. You haven't put on a pound. Well, the secret is I haven't really quit yet. I can go for one or two days and then... Oh, it wasn't easy for me either, but so far, so good. Knock on wood. But George just quit cold, just like you did, Bill. I'm so proud of him. I think you're wonderful, George. 
Right now, for one cigarette, I'd give my house, my car, what's left of my life savings, and my mother-in-law's house. My mother-in-law. Would you give your life, George? 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 I said, how did you do it? How come it was so easy for you? Uh, what? Oh, uh, uh, how did I do it? Well, uh, you see, thing is that, uh, uh, I have this fantastic willpower. So, uh, <laughs> uh, let me see if I can put it another way. Uh, I have a terrific strength of character. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll drink to that. Well, listen, let's not start drinking for the same reasons we were smoking. Oh, no. <laughs> for one sweet drag, I'd give up all of Maggie's clothes, her diamond ring, Gary's piggy bank, my new bowling ball. Well, maybe I'd keep my bowling ball. <laughs> Don't tell him, squaw, get him five bucks from Indian chief. <laughs> Would you believe it? George actually wants to stop smoking. What he hasn't learned yet, though, is that he's the type that can't quit on his own. How many of us ever admit that we need help? Well, what do you think, Charlie? Will I ever play the violin again? Oh, violin, yes. Trumpet? Not if you keep smoking. Oh, you gotta give me something to quit, Charlie. My marriage is at stake. Well, George, we know that smoking may be causing lung cancer and heart disease, emphysema, but we have no evidence that it's causing divorce. Are there any specific complaints? I mean, aside from the short breath and coughing, of course. No, I don't think so. You know, George, the ads try to make us think that smoking is the socially in thing to do. Now, we all have friends who want to look like Humphrey Bogart or Betty Davis. Yeah, but Bill feel quit just like that. Well, some people, men especially, find it easy once they've made up their minds. But there are the truly dedicated smokers. Those smokers who... Yeah, would... that's it. Truly dedicated people like myself. Masculine, yet highly strung with artistic temperament. <laughs> Deeply complicated people like poets, lawyers, captains of industry. No, and doctors, too. Doctors? Oh, but I've read that they quit far more than the average. Oh, I tried for years. Then I got some outside help. An encounter group, and it happened like magic. You, Charlie? Physician heal myself, I thought. Oh, George, you think only weaklings need help? Well, I... Frankly, I still need a little help every once in a while. Look, George. The mere thought of cancer scares us, but it doesn't make us stop. We really have to work at it, whether it's alone or with 10 other people. Now, you seem to have a great deal of willpower. Strength of character, Charlie. Exactly. <laughs> but then you have this mm, highly strung artistic side. Well, that's what I've been told. OK, so you're going to need a little help. Just something between you, me, and your x-rays. Now, here's some literature from the American Cancer Society to help you quit. 
I want you to read it, believe it, and follow it. It may be all the help you need. But remember, the final success or failure depends on one thing, your strength of character. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Reasons for quitting. One, lung cancer. Ugh. Two, heart disease. Three, emphysema. Four, making holes in the furniture and in my clothes and in my children. <laughs> five, five. My wife quit so she can quit, why can't I? Yeah, yeah. Reasons for smoking, yeah. Book sure is fair, says make two lists. Well, let's see, there must be a reason. Yeah, I like smoking. No, I don't, I hate it. But there must be a reason for it, I keep on smoking. Now look, you're hooked, hooked on a poisonous weed. Now I don't know about you, but I am going to quit. Sensitive, artistic nature or not. Let's see. Pick a quitting date and work up to it. Quitting date. All right, how about a year from tomorrow? <laughs> Pick a quitting date in the not-too-distant future and stick to it. Oh, why not? Remember, the book says, Cut down gradually by starting to smoke an hour later every day. says it helps to make it difficult to find your cigarettes. George, what on earth are you doing? I'm quitting smoking. What do you think I'm doing? Well, I think I'd better call Mother and see if she's still there. Well, you quit your way and I'll quit mine. going to do with you this contract still doesn't express the deal i'm not flawless i never said i was flawless but it's the third time you've made the same mistake on the same contract i said i'm not flawless apparently i have at least three flaws well four flaws and you're out now try it again Do you really want this cigarette, George? Are you crazy? Of course I do. Why do you want it? Did you hear the way he talked to me? And now you're gonna let the boss make you poison yourself? He's not making me. I'm poisoning myself of my own free will. <laughs> Book 
It says, hard, vigorous exercise is another aid in quitting. Helps work off your frustrations. But you must take it easy and not show off, especially if you're middle-aged and not in good physical shape. Hey, Dad, want to race? Why not? I'm in great physical shape and certainly not middle-aged. OK, but just a short one. I don't want to tire you guys out. Ready, set, go. <laughs> Give me a reserve. No. Now, look, this is an emergency. Give me a reserve. No. Honey, will you listen to me, please? Just one, just three little puffs, please. Absolutely not. Give me that. Oh. Give me that. Sure. Give me... <laughs> now, you see? The world goes on without cigarettes. <laughs> oh, this program is driving me nuts. Well, you know, it says here, it's good to break other old habits. Watch new television shows for a change. Yeah, well, this one's ridiculous. You know, the doctor told me it would be good for me to, to change brands, smoke some hard-to-find exotic cigarette. Oh, did he? Yeah, he used to smoke Indian beaties. You can only get them in Bombay. Oh, boy, that's expensive. No, they're only a cent and a half a pack. Wow. A $1,500 car fare. <laughs> uh, it says here, try sitting in an unfamiliar chair. Break the habit of sitting in the same old place. You know, it says that we should experiment with our own ideas. When things get bad, use your imagination. Honey, come here a minute. Now, let's see if we can imagine something better than another cigarette. <laughs> Well, tomorrow is the big day Daddy quit smoking once and for all. Aw, uh, he'll never do it. Now, let's think positively, shall we? But Daddy still smokes. I saw him. He's been allowed to up till now, but after tomorrow, he quits for good. Why? Because he loves us, that's why. Well, I love us too. I think I'll give up bubble gum. <laughs> the big day. No more cigarettes for George ever. Will he change his life and become a truly independent man? Yep, it's true. I did do a little backsliding every once in a while. But once I really put my mind to it, I had no trouble at all. For you. Excuse me. There he goes. All mouth and no guts. Now, Bill, I know what you are thinking, but you're wrong. Oh, come on, Maggie. You know George can't quit smoking. He lacks the willpower, the, the strength of character. I know, but you're wrong. He has quit. Then why did he sneak that book of matches out of the room when he left? Well, I'm not going to discuss this with you. Ed, a wife can't testify against her own husband, can she? Oh, uh, no, not in this state, no. <laughs> Look, Maggie. He's not even hiding in the bathroom. That's amazing. He was so good at the office, too, you know? I knew it wouldn't last. Huh? I bought it as a treat for myself for giving up smoking. You know, the way I look at it, at 50 cents a pack, 
This thing didn't cost me anything at all. <laughs> Congratulations, George. Oh, yeah. it's really nice. All right, stand back, will you, woman genius oh, at work? Oh, but George, I love you. Oh, well, in that case. <laughs> Fun, huh? Suppose there's one as important as this funny bone. But underneath the fun, there's a serious point that your American Cancer Society has been trying to make. The length of our lives, the health of us, even the quality of our lives improves when we give up smoking. Dramatic improvement in our physical well-being, improvement that lasts the rest of our lives. And with this physical change comes a mental change that is both startling and beautiful a sense of freedom such as we've never felt before, a sense of pride, pride in ourselves and in our ability to decide for ourselves just who we are and what we want to do with our lives. You know, it's really amazing how little we have to give up to get so very much. Now, there are many people smoke. There are many ways that people can follow to quit. To find out why you smoke and the best way for you to quit, Get this free and informative booklet by calling or writing your American Cancer Society. Why not start right now?